outside of the traditional infrastructure, we see so many possibilities for art and there are so many groups and art makers and developers who have started already in working in this public sphere. In the arts field, a movement is visible away from traditional spaces such as theatres and galleries into public space. There's more than one reason for this movement and the students have different motivations to be a part of this shift. It's more important for uh, artists to think of public space and being active in public space uh, more than ever because I think we're in trouble. We need uh, more thinkers and a broad group of thinkers to come to the table in order to create our societies, our communities, our, our neighborhoods. And so far, um, uh, the arts have been often left out of this equation. For me, public space is charged with a lot of social, political, artistic inspirations. So I think that's why I like to work in public space that much. And of course, the audience engagement. Uh, I think that something is really enriching of uh, working as an artist in public space is the direct contact with the passers-by that can be the performers themselves, uh, can be an audience. And it's also important for the artist to see how your work changes each time you are in a different public space. So you kind of put your artwork into test or sort of into proof and that can give you answers, can give you more questions. That's sort of the engine that keeps you going on and into the experimentation. This master has not invented this more society-focused um, art, but what we do offer and what we have developed, and that's the reason why we did it, is a platform where it all comes together, where they can get coached, where they can meet peers, where we can develop the knowledge together. What is it? What is different? What does this society need? What do you need as a researcher? If you research your art and your artwork and your, your designing in a different context. The idea of the program is that students can continue their artistic practice wherever they are located and that their practice is enhanced or enriched by the content the program offers them. It is a one-year full-time master program. It is aimed for students that already have an artistic practice and an ambition or an interest uh, goal to work in public space. The structure of the program is a blended learning format, which means that we combine online activities and on-site activities. We have an online platform that, uh, that is the space where we share all the content of the program, but it's also a place where students can exchange with each other, ask questions, start discussions. Um, and that's also the space where they communicate with their coach, where they hand in their uh, assignments. And we meet three times in an academic year in Tilburg for an intensive workshop or intensive meeting weeks that we have called boot camps. And in these boot camps we have uh, workshops, we invite uh, guest speakers, lecturers, uh, students are, organize activities as well. We go on field trips, we do all sorts of things. Uh, where we really work together with the learning community. So there's also a difference between working individually and working collectively. We were aiming for a group of students who already had some experience in research and in the working field. So we thought, well, in that way, we can't ask them to come to Tilburg for a whole year because that would mean a gap in their experience. We really should find a form together in which they could come in with their research question and their experience and their wish to develop and share this, but then also go back home with everything that has happened here to work further on their research or their product, then come back again. So that was quite a challenge to, to organize a program around this. I had a pretty clear view of what kind of students I wanted to meet. Students who were both uh, accomplished artists who had a practice in uh, public space and were really interested in 
in uh, theory and especially societal problems and how the arts could relate to uh, political questions, philosophical questions, but basically in my particular case in political questions and how the arts uh, can in, uh, make interventions that really matter. This uh, combination of uh, individual distant work and uh, intensive group work is uh, quite functional for this kind of program that uh, actually offers a big agency to the artists who can combine and continue their own work, uh, elaborating on their means. The way we shaped the program and the teaching methods we use are meant to be highly adaptable. Um, and I think that's one of the unique aspects of, of the program, that uh, the content can be shaped by the students and by the learning community. If the students are working on a certain theme or interest, we can adapt who we are inviting, who we are bringing in, to meet the needs and the interests of the students. The program offers uh, really different perspectives into the artistic field, that it comes from the students, comes from the teachers and also comes from the line that I think uh, they chose to uh, approach public space. So if in the boot camps, for example, we had, we had different workshops and lectures and guest teachers from different backgrounds, then it could uh, show us different perspectives to work with or be inspired with public space. What happens throughout the year is really interesting. Like, where, what is the starting point and how does it develop throughout the year? How can we improve those research questions and what does the artistic research do to the artistic practice? So how does the practice evolve because of the content of the program and because of the questioning that happens uh, by the students? It's really important that we collaborate with uh, all sorts of partners that are active or that have some part in public space. We work with a lot of local partners in Tilburg and around and the rest of the Netherlands, but we try to get in as much international partners as we can as well, because with the master program we're trying to establish this network, uh, this worldwide network of uh, the work in public space, the artistic practice in public space. And our students, our graduates of the first year, are part of this network as well. So every year we are continuing the program, we will grow this, uh, this network. Uh, having uh, an international uh, platform, international master or international also network, give as artists, give me the possibilities to really understanding a different perspective, a different point of view, what is the public space. And this is a very, I think, very important as artists to, to have this discussion, constant discussion of how the public space evolves, how artists uh, in a different location of the world uh, understand the public uh, space. This network building really actually really happens. And um, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of proud that it happens here in Tilburg because I think Tilburg has already a tradition of moving outside the traditional path. There were many makers here who are quite experimental, who, who are developing ways to, to work outside theater and um, to work interdisciplinary. I think the exchange with so many different students and so many different cultural backgrounds was um, really interesting because it mirrors our practice to many other ones. And it brings about um, new questions, new perspectives and uh, a different debate. We see that a master like PPS, interdisciplinary, international, they've got the student first. The program starts with the research question of the student. You can see that really inspires the other masters and the other bachelors as well. So, but if I look at what's the result, I see the masters working more together intensely. I see the research developing along interdisciplinary lines. I see people reaching out to the university, we've got a speciality. I see that we are positioning the research 
uh, of profiling it in a different way. It's interdisciplinary, it's artistic, and we're at the starting point of this. But PPS does play a very important role in that. The influence that uh, performance in public space can have within this institute is uh, actually really vital because we have to get our uh, students, our teachers to start thinking in relation to and in relation with. And it's not just between ourselves, it's actually being out in public space, being in society, positioning yourself to the greater <laughs> let's say, mass that's out there, which um, you have to have experience in that uh, in order to uh, have a broader understanding sooner uh, of what uh, society is like than just being kicked out into it after you graduate. So the more uh, students and teachers can be a part of uh, the public and creating public, um, the more, uh, yeah, it's, it's just vital, we must do it. So to have this idea about the other, the outside, private, public, to challenge these binaries is, is essential to an um, artist that can survive in the future. The ambition of the master programme is that the artistic practice in public space becomes a much more recognised field than it is now. And it is important that we establish this network or that we're building this network for this reason. And of course the research students are doing in our program is contributing also to the development of the field and the recognition of, of the field. So if I'm thinking about the master program in five or ten years uh, from now, there would be no more discussion about why would an artist go into public space. I think it's important to build up an international environment of international artists when you think about public space, but I don't believe that it's possible to create an unified artistic approach into public spaces, because public spaces are really different, and then just by experimenting or doing an artistic intervention in different cities in the Netherlands, for example, you already have different reflections and different connections and something different that comes out of it. So when I think about international artists, of course, everyone brings its own luggage, its own knowledge and perspectives. And it's nice to see how that sometimes shifts when you apply it into different spaces. My hope is that the students of the Performing Public Space Master, at the end of their study, will have gained two things. The first has to do with um, a good, insightful knowledge and reflection on the problems that the public space faces today. And the second has to do with um, the artistic means, the artistic methods that artists today can create in terms of artistic research in order to resist to these problems and uh, suggest alternatives to them. The impact that this program could have uh, in the future is that, uh, you know, if you're at City Hall and there are policy makers sitting there, that graduate of performance in public space is sitting at that table as well in order to uh, inform about what really is needed in public space. That um, we can position ourselves as being part of uh, knowledge making. The, the real questions for the master will be questions posed by uh, the situation in the world. The situation in the world is changing extremely rapidly and the master will have to develop a relation with that. So the master will either have uh, a finger on the pulse of contemporary times or it will disappear.